so that's our approach to weight loss. Uh, it's very successful. We see this happen all day long. If you have medical illnesses related to your obesity, you're probably not going to do yourself a favor by ordering something uh, from the internet, uh, some magic shot or some magic pill. Uh, there, there is a, a way to do this correctly, medically, soundly, safely, but you have to be in the hands of a medical bariatrician, a physician who has specific knowledge, training, and desire to work with those who are overweight. This is the killer at large. This is the epidemic of the century. And if we don't step up to the plate and look at the things that drive our eating, then we are lost. Now, I didn't mention here anything about whether you're going to the fast food chain, whether you're eating too much pizza, whether you're eating too much Coke, or drinking too much Coke. That's not what we talked about today. We talked about the things that drive your desire to go and get those foods. Once we've addressed this, then we address your eating program. And believe me, when I create a deficiency diet, there are no Twinkies in it. Okay? So we can go ahead and talk about all the bad food that surrounds us, and that's another talk for another day. But today, we've talked about this. We've talked also earlier today about the importance of, of weight loss for personal benefit as a national epidemic, what it represents. We've talked about the things that drive obesity. We've talked about the importance of knowing what your total daily energy expenditure is, your TDEE, so that then based on that, you can come up with a proper caloric restriction so that we know how many pounds a week you're going to be dropping. Uh, so if you have medical obesity, that means that we need to see you or work with you, and we can have a chat sometime soon about what is actually obesity. So how do I know if I'm overweight? This is all very nice, but it implies that you know that you're overweight. Most people know this. But let me give you, before we end, some really, really basic parameters. You don't even need a scale to figure out if you're overweight. If you're in the shower, and you look down, and you cannot tell whether you are male or female, because your belly's in the way, you're overweight. All right? If you are going up a flight of stairs, and you're running out of air, and we assume that you are not a smoker or, or an old elderly guy with some emphysema or something, and you're out of breath by step number five, you're probably overweight. If you can't fit into some of the clothes that you fit in even two years ago, forget when you were in the army and your bridal dress and all those things, just two years ago, if you look in your closet and you say, I can't wear this, 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 and this, well, don't get rid of those clothes. Let's lose weight so that we can use them again, assuming that they're fashionable and you like them and so on and so on. So